Alright, this video is about 10 2 areas, areas of trapezoids, rhombuses, and kites. Now, your only vocab term for this video is height of a trapezoid, which is the perpendicular distance between the bases. Alright, so here we have a trapezoid, base 1 and base 2. The bases are the two parallel sides. You should remember that back from, the, from when we went over quadrilaterals. The bases are the two parallel sides, so the perpendicular distance between the two base, bases is the height. And your formula for area of a trapezoid, one half the height plus the sum, I mean, sorry, one half the height times the sum of the two bases. Alright, so let's work a problem. Instead of calling this base 2 and base 1, which they are, but now I'm going to replace with numbers. We know this is a 60 degree angle. We know this is 5, and this is 7. And for this example, all right. So now, how are we going to find, how are we going to set this up to find the area of the trapezoid? Well, the first thing we got to do is we have to find the height. We know what the sum of the two bases is. It's 5 plus 7, which is 12. Half of that is 6, so now we just have to find the height, and it's simply 6 times the height. Well, we know this is a 30-69 triangle because we know this is a right angle. Since this is 60, this has to be 30. So, we know that from here to here is 2 because we know these lines are parallel, and since this is a right angle, from here to here is 5. So from here to here has to be 2. So we know this is 2. And since this is across from the 30 degree angle, we know it's S in the ratio. So since we know it's S in the ratio, and across from the 60 degree angle is S times the square root of 3, we know that our height now is 2 times the square root of 3. So now we're set up to find the area of our trapezoid. So the area of our trapezoid equals one half the height, which is two square root of three, times the sum of the bases, which is five plus seven. So the one half in this will cancel out the two, so it's the square root of three times twelve. Let's rewrite it with the twelve in front. So the area of that trapezoid is 12 times the square root of 3. So, that's pretty much it for finding area of a trapezoid. You need the length of the two bases, and you need the height. Once you have that, you, you can just do one half the height times the sum of the two bases. That's pretty much it. Now, you can either half the height or half the sum of the two bases, but you can only take half one time. All right, so I could have halved the 12 and got 6, and done 6 times 2 square root of 3 and ended up with 12 square root of 3. So it doesn't matter what you have, as long as you only half one number. All right. Now, let's look at the area of rhombuses and kites. The cool thing about the area of rhombuses and kites is you only have to remember one formula for both. The area of both a rhombus and a kite is simply one half diagonal one times diagonal two. So here we have a rhombus, or at least as close as I can hand draw. Alright, I'm going to label this to make it easier. So we can call line AC here, diagonal 1, and we can call BD, diagonal 2. So you would simply multiply the length of AC times the length of BD, and then take half of it. That's it. And a kite is the same formula. So here we have a kite. Here's one diagonal. Here's the other diagonal. Uh, let's do E, F, G, H. 
So for our kite, EG is diagonal 1, FH is diagonal 2. So you would simply take the length of FH, multiply it by the length of EG, and then take half of that number. All right. So let's actually let's work a problem. Say AC had length 10 and BD had length, uh, we'll say 8. So all we got to do is plug that into our formula. The area of a rhombus equals 1 half diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. So we can go ahead and half the 10 down to 5. 8 times 5 is 40. So the area of the rhombus is 40. All right, so if AC is 10 and BD is 8, the area, this is our H for rhombus, the area of our rhombus is 40 because 10 times 8 is 80 divided by 2 is 40. Let's look at our cat. Say EH equals 12 and, no, I got those backwards. Say FH equals 12 and EH equals, I don't know, 5. So we use the same formula. So the area of our kite is going to equal 1 half of 5 times 12. All right, I'm going to go ahead and half the 12 down to 6 to make the math easier. So now 5 times 6 is simply 30. So the area of our kite with a diagonal of 5 and with one diagonal of 5 and one diagonal of 12 is going to be 30. And of course, when you're dealing with area, it's always units squared. All right. When you're dealing with area, it's always units squared. So, that's pretty much it for area, areas of trapezoids, rhombuses, and kites. All right, just make sure you have the two formulas written down. For the rhombus and kite, it's one half diagonal one times diagonal two. And for a trapezoid, it's simply one half the height times the sum of the two bases. So make sure you have these two formulas written down. Make sure you know how to find the height of a trapezoid. It's simply the perpendicular distance between your two bases. And make sure you know, of course, what the diagonals of rhombuses and kites are. So that's pretty much it. You can watch this video as many times as you need to. Make sure you're ready to work some problems when you come to class tomorrow. See you tomorrow.